Um, as you said, you've got you know thousands of hours under your wings as a pilot. Um, what's training like for you? What's it going to be like for the three civilians that have never touched anything space travel? Right. Well, there's a lot of it that we're doing together. Uh, so there's going to be just tons of simulator time, um, normal procedures, abnormal procedures, actually very, you know, almost aviation standard in that regard, right? You got to get comfortable for everything that as it's supposed to be. Uh, and then you, you plan for all the things that, that, that shouldn't happen. So that's a big part of the training. We'll do that as a team. There's going to be some water survival training that we're going to go through. Um, all sorts of emergency procedures, pad, um, you know, safety training. There's some, you know, pretty interesting zip lines. I think we can get some exposure to down at uh, Kennedy Space Center. A um, lot of academics and systems training for sure on orbital mechanics. Um, you know, we have to uh, understand what's going on around us um, as we're operating in space. Um, and then, you know, some of the training that that'll be a little bit more specific to the role for me is is obviously, uh, you know, the operation of Dragon. Um, Everything goes well. It's no different than, you know, a 747 flight here, uh, you know, in the U.S., you know, the vast majority of the trip is, is essentially autopilot, right? Um, but, you know, my 6,000, you know, jet flight hours, um, most of the training came down to about six hours of it. And those are the things you don't expect um, that you need to be well prepared for. And, uh, and that's going to be a big part of, um, you know, at least uh, my training as, uh, as we go ahead.